it's me, Ice and and today I'm going to be talking about the new Season 8 doll reveal. I cannot believe how early we've seen these dolls. Uh, we just saw the pictures of these outfits, and suddenly the dolls are already uh, being revealed, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, so these leaks or releases come from Winx Club Russ, which is a really popular VK page, and I have no idea who they are, but they always have the latest doll news, which is really exciting. I will link them in the description as well, I'll link the, the, the post in the description. Alrighty, so for starters, this is a line called Glamour Friends, and you guys might recognize these because they were the outfits that we just saw in the Season 8 trailer. So the that Season 8 teaser trailer came out less than a month ago, and we're already seeing the dolls for that. That is so cool, and I'm really excited because that means um, Rainbow's actually going to get their their stuff together and release the dolls at least somewhere near the time that the season releases. That always bothered me. Like, why would you release the dolls a year later after everybody's not excited about it anymore? <laughs> Anyways, um, I really, really like these. My favorite out of this set are Bloom and Tecna. I love Tecna's overalls. I think they're so, 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 so pretty. And Bloom's outfit, like with the tiered skirt and stuff, is just gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I love Stella's boots. I think they're really, really pretty. Um, I just think all these outfits are really cool. The one that I'm not a big fan of, though, is Flora. I don't think that giant scarf matches with the rest of the outfit, but it's totally fine. I also am kind of bummed that they come with those same wings that every single witty toys, um, like, non-fairy line comes with. Come on. There has to be, like, another mold y'all can make or something. I don't know. But it's fine. I think they're cute. Uh, I also really like Musa's hairstyle. Sorry, I have to give her a time to shine. It's in, like, that beehive style with the bangs and the tendrils. It's really pretty. Um, all right. The next doll that was revealed, which is a Sirenix special doll. She looks like this. And a lot of people are theorizing that maybe this doll is actually the season 8 form of Sirenix. That or, you know how Sirenix Magic is just something they came up with to release so they could sell more dolls. It could be something like that, like Sirenix Underwater, Sirenix Magic. But a lot of people are saying that this could be the Season 8 version of Sirenix, which, oh my gosh, I'm going to lose my mind if they change Sirenix and Enchantix and Butterflix in this season. I'm going to be so happy. I know a lot of people are like, oh my god, I'm going to hate it if they change my favorite transformation. Why? You saw that transformation for a whole season. Now we get a whole new one and a whole new line of dolls. Yes, please. Look how pretty she is. I love the sequins on the outfit. That is so gorgeous. And those boots are really, really cool. And I actually didn't think it looked like Sirenix until I saw the leggings. Uh, it just kind of looks like a really cool like underwater doll. I'm also a big fan of the wings. She's going to be like a bubble gimmick doll, which is why she has the, the holes in her wings and stuff. Overall, I'm a fan of this doll, although I wouldn't say that this is probably the final design for the new Sirenix form, or if this isn't it at all, then I just let other people influence me, but um, I wouldn't say that this is the final form, because this is just like a deluxe special version of the doll, like we've seen with Tynix and stuff, and they're not going to be the same as the actual transformation appearance. Alrighty, um, next up we have- oh, and it says um, Bloom in Sirenix Fairy Bubbles, there will also be a Stella and Flora in that line. Um, if this is the most reliable source, then that's what we got. All right, the next ones are these ones, and they are fashion look. I really like Stella with the black and pink. That is so cute. I have no idea where these outfits came from. Maybe they were in the show. I'm really bad at remembering outfits if you guys haven't caught on yet. Uh, but overall, I think these are all really, really adorable. And they have those really cute shoes that I like, or Bloom and uh, Stella do. Flora's got... Flora's got the Dreamix shoes on, which is cool. Uh, and I really like the materials they used. I hope that's actually the material that they're going to use. And thank goodness they come with different wings. They have these really cool, like, mini butterfly style wings. I'm a fan of those. Alrighty. And next up, we have Selfie Magic. Um, why? <laughs> I mean, they're cute. I don't really see myself picking them up. I might pick up, like, one or two, because I think Stella looks really, really cute in the all yellow. Um, and Bloom is pretty cute, too, but... I don't really know. I think this is kind of a blah line. Uh, they have the love and pet shoes that, like, um, I think Aisha has those shoes. I don't know. That's kind of a pass line for me, although it's good to have a lot of different dolls on the market instead of just having, like, the fairy transformation and the main uh, everyday outfit for the show, because people will buy all those really fast, and then they have nothing else to buy. So it's good on them to make this random line, but I feel like every doll line that's coming out after 2010 is like, selfies! Hashtag! And it doesn't work doesn't work. <laughs> As we know from uh, Brat Selfie Snaps, we don't like it, but um, cool to see it from Italy. And finally, the last dolls that we're going to be seeing today are these ones, which are the Magic Ballerina line. We have Stella, 
Bloom and Flora. I honestly am considering picking up Stella just because she's wearing green. She never wears green. I love green. Um, and I love Stella in green. Stella's my favorite. Green's my favorite. I'm a fan of this line. Although they are wearing the wings that the first line were wearing that I'm not really a fan of, but wings come off. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, I really like the little hearts in their skirts and I like the sequins. I think overall these new dolls that are, have been shown, four out of the five lines are showing me that Witty um, is really stepping up their game and I'm really excited to see uh, the final releases of these dolls and what dolls are to come. I'm so excited because Winx Club Russ actually says these will release in 2019. I'm not sure if that's 100% true, but if it is, yes! Thank you. Please coincide that release with the with the season eight. Please, 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 please. You will you will um, increase your sales numbers. You will increase the hype for the season. Oh my goodness, just do that. How how hard would that be, you know? But they're doing it, and I'm surprised that none of these got leaked before, like showing up on Taobao or something. I'm really impressed with that. Um, but yeah, that's it. Let me know what you guys think of all these. I'm so excited. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.